Da 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 Hi! <laughs> Bonjour, gamers. Welcome to Baldi Gates. <laughs> Welcome to Baldi Gates 3. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? YouTube is giving me a warning saying that the audio bitrate is lower than expected. But it looks like it's fine. So I don't know what the dealio is. Okay, we're good. All right, then I don't know what YouTube is freaking out. Oh yeah, sure, now the warning goes away. Now the warning goes away. Fine. Oh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hi everybody, welcome to the Baldur's Gate 3 stream, the Dirge Run. So, I want to give you guys a little bit of background before we get too deep into this. So, um, we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. This game has been out for a little bit. Um, ya girl has already played this game through once. Um, so I've already completed one playthrough of this game. However, I was just, I was doing your normal, vanilla, regular, custom character playthrough. I have not really touched the Dark Urge version at all. For those who do not know, the Dark Urge is a special playthrough mode in this game where basically, so there's six, so you have your customizable character, right? And then you have, you can also play as six of the companion characters, and they each have their own plot and storylines, and they're called the origin characters, right? So that's like Gale and Will and Karlak and Astarian and all those, all those motherfuckers. Uh, you can actually play as them. However, there is a secret seventh origin character called the Dark Urge. You can change their name, their appearance is fully customizable, but they have a storyline that is like completely separate from the like customizable main characters. And I've only seen a little bit of what that playthrough is like. It's not, it, it's air quote secret. <laughs> it's air quote secret. It's like, ho ho he 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 he. It's like a special play mode, basically. Um, you don't need to be familiar with Baldur's Gate to uh, enjoy the experience. Just know that there will be some prompts that you will not get if you are not playing as the Dark Urge, from what I understand. Um, I have seen a small handful of spoilers for Dark Urge stuff, but it's mostly things that happen in Act 1 or specific things that happen with romanceable characters that I am not planning on romancing. So, I think we're just going to go ahead and jump into it and I will talk more as we go through character customization. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just let you guys let me know if like I need to raise or lower the audio of the game. Uh, we're going to watch the opening cutscene. Oh, yeah, no backseating, no spoilers. Um, backseating will get you timed out for like 10 minutes. Um, if you drop spoilers, you will get a permaban from chat, and I am not kidding. <laughs> because I do not want spoilers for this. Um, yeah, so there may be times when I will specifically ask for help, and I will make it very obvious. I will specifically say, chat, help me out. How do I do this thing? But I shouldn't need to do that too often because, like I said, I have already completed one playthrough of this game. Are there subtitles? Yes. Also, if you are grossed out by eye stuff, you will likely want to close your eyes here in a sec. I will, I will warn you, um, there is about to be some gross eye stuff. If that grosses you out, Feel free to uh, just shut your eyes or minimize out of this tab, and I will tell you when the gross eye stuff is done. Okay, yep. If you're grossed out by eye stuff, now is your last warning. Get out of here. Because this part's icky. This part is icky. Oh, there's no sound at all. That's why it was being weird. Ew. <laughs> and now we get to see that from the first person perspective. We're getting brain worms. Yay! Yay! Brain worms! Brain worms! Okay, if you're grossed out by eye stuff, you can look at the screen again. There is no more gross eye stuff. 
Is there any content warning slash triggers people should know about for the Dark Urge playthrough? Um, there will theoretically be a lot of murder, but I don't know specifically Dark Urge related stuff. Okay, and then I saw someone making a sassy comment about, um, character creation. I've already plotted out what I want to do. Um, like I went through and I built Ariana's, er, no, God fucking damn, Emery's character. <laughs> Um, I've already went and plotted it out, so, uh, we won't be stuck in character creation too long. Okay, so here, uh, so these are, like, all of your origin characters, like, these six, my, my besties, my six besties. Um, this is the Dark Urge, but their, uh, appearance and class can be fully customized, so we'll watch their little character intro. Uh, you remember nothing but a path paved with blood. Unimaginable cruelty whispers to you from within. Can you escape it? Would you even want to? Here, we'll do this. Little character introduction. Everybody has one of these. My rancid blood whispers to me. Kill, kill, and kill again. My ruined body yearns to reap death in this world. And when this foul urge calls, it possesses my whole being. Injured, beyond repair. I know nothing besides this. I must resist the dark urge, lest it consume my mind. I must discover who I was and what happened to me. Before my twitching knife hand writes a tragedy in blood. Very edgy. So yeah, that's the edgelord we're playing as, except we're going to do, you know, like character customization and stuff. All right, so we're doing it. All right, so real quick, we're going to run through. We're playing a tiefling. So if you're not familiar, I, uh, I have it in the pinned comment, but the character we will be playing as, the character I'm making here, is my tiefling fighter character I play in the D&D show, What's Left of Us. Uh, which is pinned in the top comment at the uh, top of the chat, if you are unfamiliar. Uh, so my girl Emery is basically an edgelord. Um, I love her very, very much, uh, but she has some shit happen to her. Um, and when I found out kind of what the blo the uh, the dark urge was about, I was like, I have to play that as Emery. I have to play an Emery run. <laughs> with this character backstory because it's so good. <laughs> uh, so I've already kind of pre-built Emery, so I know how to do it. Um, Emery in real life canon is a Mephistopheles tiefling because um, I think it gives you a slight bonus to uh, intelligence if you do it that way in actual D&D, but we're doing a Zariel tiefling so that we can have advantage on intimidation because we're probably going to be using that a lot. <laughs> Just saw you short about Emery. She's so cool. Thank you. I love my baby girl. She's so mean. The worst girl in the world. Okay, so we're a fighter. We're doing two-weapon fighting. Background we can't change. Abilities. Okay, so we're deviating a bit from what actual Emery is like. Um, ba -ba 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 -da 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 -da. I gotta remember exactly what I gave her. I think I want to do dexterity instead of constitution. We're going to drop her wisdom a little bit because I don't want a negative charisma stat because that's going to affect my uh, intimidations and things. Um, Milo is now on my desk. Milo, <laughs> you are a kitten. I've got her standy on my desk right next to my dice tray. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you. My baby girl. I actually have her on my desk too. <laughs> that's my baby girl okay so I think I'm gonna go for dex because that'll raise my AC a little bit um we're gonna do edit appearance now so we female um we're gonna do oh body type one and then I think probably this one yeah so i already kind of went through and figured out all the milo god get, stop knocking stuff off of my desk or you're not going to be allowed on my desk anymore cat <laughs> um but yes so i was stuck between these two faces this is the same one i used for verity but it has the better ear shape 
I don't know. I'll stick with this one for right now. Um, okay, not doing any body art. Oh, I did want to give her earrings, though. These ones. Um, eyes, we're gonna do... She's got, like, glowy yellow. Milo, please stay away from my cable management. You will unplug something, and then I will be get grumpy. <laughs> Milo indulging her dark urge. Yeah, that's every day of this kitten's life. Um... Makeup, we want to do something like that, and we're gonna do. Oh, that's makeup 10, never mind. Uh, also, I'm very happy that I think I have figured out how to not have lag demons ruin my game. Okay. So for the black hair, this game is weird because like, it says that this is black. That is very gray. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to add in graying, but we're gonna make the gray black and it's gonna be fun and smart and sassy. Um, there's a couple of hairstyles that would work for her. And so Emery actually, uh, you, mm, I forgot to do something, wait, hold on. Ha ha! <laughs> There we go. I totally forgot that I have to put my, my Emery costume on. Oops. Um, but yes. Uh, this one is the closest to her actual hairstyle, and I'm bummed because there are some hairstyles that would let me do, like, the half, like, with the little gray streak, but none of the hairstyles with, like, the right... Sh none of the hairstyles have the right, like, the perfect shape and combination it bums me out, so this is as close as we can get. Oh, those are the tip colors. Black for the tips. Some kind of red. Where's the horns? And now we have my grumpy daughter! That's my grumpy daughter! I love her! Hi, Milo. Please do not rub your cute little face. All right. There is my baby. Her name is not the Dark Urge. Her name is Emery. Ladies and gentlemen, the worst girl in the world. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. And then I know what I'm going to do for her guardian. I kind of already figured this out. It's going to be real loose, though, because I don't want to spend a million years on this. A high elf. Female. Sure. Um, no scars or anything. We're going to up the maturity a little bit. Um, cause yeah, so here's a little bit of, uh, background info for you guys. I have tried an Emery run before, just with like the usual vanilla run of this game. Um, and I didn't end up getting very far in it before I ended up changing it. I uh, switched over to playing as Verity. Um, who is my other D and D character that I play in a, in a different game? Milo. Oh, she is being a little nuisance. She is being a nuisance. Yes, you are. Yes, you're a nuisance. You heard me. You're a nuisance. <laughs> That's not Rathcurther. Now I debated making um making one of the other party characters her guardian. But I wasn't sure who. Rathgerther would probably be the easiest to build. Um, her or uh, Maldris. But I decided that to keep things fair, um, the character I'm going with is actually like closer to Emery's mom. Uh, who is dead in the main storyline. So, uh, you know, that's fun. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think we are good to go there. Um, do I want to change the face... Maybe. Yeah, I had like a decent idea of what I wanted to do here, but the Guardian doesn't matter too, too much. All right, let's go gamers! Now we get to watch the opening cutscene. Yippee. See, that wasn't too long in character creation. That wasn't too long. game looks gorgeous it does it really is pretty and i mean this is with the graphics set down to like the low settings so unfortunately my pc is not 
beefy enough for um to run it on higher settings while I'm streaming because otherwise there is lag to hell. Um but yeah. So uh this is set to low settings. Um so like the textures on the hair might be a little bit funky. Um I do have the textures set to high, but like in some instances the uh lighting might look a little weird. Yeah, and this is the pre-rendered cutscene too. I am going to talk over the pre-rendered cutscene though because I do what I want. Wilhelm scream. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I do want to run you guys through a little bit of background info just in case you're not familiar. Um, so like I said, Emery, the character that we are playing as for this run of the game, uh, is the character that I play in uh, What's Left of Us, which if you were interested in watching that, you should totally go subscribe to our DMs D&D &D channel, um, which is not only has just been linked to the chat, but it's also linked in the pinned comment at the top of the chat. Um... And I don't want to give too much away, but her storyline definitely has a lot of plot beats in common with the uh, with what I have heard about the Dark Urge, um, which is why I wanted to play it as her so badly. Um, I have completed a full run through of this game already once before, but I was playing as um, I was doing the vanilla character creator, and then also I. Uh, I played as a different character named Verity, and if you're not familiar, Verity is another of my D&D characters who is basically, she's another tiefling, she's purple, um, and she is the most goody-goody two-shoes paladin you've ever seen. She is just overwhelmed by everything about 95% of the time, and she wa just wants everyone to get along and be friends. Um, but she did have to do several murders over the course of the game. Uh, so Verity is basically summed up by that one meme that's like, I'm a healer butt and it's a doctor loading a gun. <laughs> uh, that was what the Verity run was like. So yes, I have already completed a game. Uh, you will occasionally hear me referencing the Verity run. Um, so if you hear me mentioning that, the Verity run is the full playthrough that I've already completed. So again, I do know some stuff about this game, but I will be keeping spoilers for you guys to a minimum. Because I know that not everyone has played this game. All right. I don't remember this part of the cutscene. Is this new? Or if I just, <laughs> or did I just skip this part of the cut? Did I just skip this cut scene? <laughs> no, okay, I, I must have just, I usually skip this cut scene when I, uh, when I start a new game. I don't remember seeing that cut scene though. That was interesting. They added some stuff with updates. Ooh. Got to see Lazel's armor, which is cool looking, but Dudge just have her whole ass hanging out. <laughs> Lazel, baby, I love you, but my goodness. And we're in. There she is! The worst girl in the world! <laughs> That's my fucked up baby girl right there. The blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. Curse whoever did this to you. Say your name aloud. You have a part of yourself. Take a deep breath. Shake your head and start anew. Hmm. You like this one. The dark urge. Whatever that is. That is you. You will claw back the truth. But first you have to claw your way out of here. That's Emery. That's my girl. Let's go. 
All right. Light on my feet. I forgot to change the voices. <laughs> it's fine. I can do it when we get to camp. It's fine. But yeah, so I am. Good. I am going to be just kind of like running through this fairly quickly. Can I get to camp from here? I cannot. Okay. I forgot to change the voice. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. It's whatever. But yeah, we're going to be running through this bit pretty quick. Um, just because, you know, the opening fight. I, I have done, like, several playthroughs of this game, but only one has ever gotten past Act 1. <laughs> so I have played through Act 1 many, many times. Specifically this bit, I've probably played through, like, five or six times. Also, um, gore warning. Just in general, but we're about to see a man's exposed brain. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, uh, in case it was not obvious, this, this game is rated M. It's icky. This place, you'll free us. <laughs> Please. Before they return. They return. Okay, um... Okay, so here's the thing about Emery, is she's a jerk. <laughs> um, let's see. You sound afraid, why? So many enemies. Mm. Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. Ugh. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flares who abducted you. I love her glowy eyes. The the flaming eyes are technically uh dragonborn. But uh, I gave them to Emery because she's a badass and she gets cool animated fire eyes. I love her. Okay, she'd probably be grossed out about this, right? No, this is nasty. Like, this is a brain that's talking to me. This is fucking gross. Icky. All right, and we're out of here. Thanks for the XP. Yeah, so I'm not sure how far we're gonna get today, but we shall see. I remember when I played this with Jay, we got to about, we got to the Emerald Grove and that was about as far. But I think we should be able to get further this time because we're not fucking around quite so much. <laughs> Oh, -ho! get the Yankee from the top rope. <laughs> this is your end. Hello. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. <laughs> Did someone put a dead goblin in Star's inventory? No! <laughs> no, that's illegal. You are no thrall. I love Emery. She's so pretty. Game's a little quiet. Together, we might survive. I do have it so that the um, the game gets quieter when I am talking. But I don't want to have it up too loud because then it's going to make it hard for me to hear. Or for y'all to hear me. Um, Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Okay. Uh, we need to figure out where we are. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. All right, whatever you say, lady. Oh, those texture pop-ins. So, <laughs> so this game... This freaking game is the reason I was looking into potentially doing two PC streaming, which is something that a couple that I know that a lot of professional streamers who play a lot of PC games play um, is they have one stream that runs the game and then another stream or another computer that actually runs the stream. Um, and I was thinking, that's ridiculous. Uh, that is far too. I'm not going to pay for an entire second PC 
Um, that's ridiculous. But then I was uh, I was talking to my my dad about the situation and asking he's like maybe I could just you know like update my PC somehow and that would help with some things. And uh, he reminded me that I actually have the laptop that I used to use for my streams before I got my upgraded PC, like my big fancy gamer PC. And so now I'm realizing, oh, I technically could run a two PC stream, like have my computer run all of the game stuff and then I can run the game on like ultra settings with like 60 FPS and have it be all nice and pretty and shiny and beautiful. Um, but then also just like run the stream and my mic and my VTuber and all that other stuff through my laptop. Ugh, no rapier, or not rapiers. I'm looking for a scimitar so I can do my dual wielding. I guess two short swords is fine, but I only have one short sword. Ugh. Okay, I have a short sword and a scimitar. That will have to do. I'll give myself a bow. Well, crossbow. Like crossbow does more damage. Let's go. Oh wait, no. Give me your shit. Yeah, welcome to Loot Goblin, the video game, by the way, everybody. <laughs> I want so Emery in uh, our actual D and D campaign, she dual wield short swords. Um, but shape wise, they're more like scimitars, right? They're like kind of curved and interesting. All right, let's see if I can. Hmm. Can't read shit. Nope. Okay, just gonna press a big button and see what happens. Wrong button. <laughs> Make way. So uh, Emery and Lazel are both fighters. So once we get out of here, we're probably not going to be using Lazel too often. We don't need two fighters in the same party. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Why do we even have that button? <laughs> It's the button for uh, let the cultists go and have them attack us. It's fine. It's free. It's free uh, EXP. Fine. Now I can just go over to the little restoration pod and get that HP back. Why do I have a little crown on me? Why do I have a little crown on me? That's new. I haven't played this game since the most recent patch. And now there's new things. There's new stuff and new things here. What is all this? I ditch Lazelle, then respect her into a paladin. See, I want to make Will a paladin. Because that man wants to be a paladin so fucking bad, right? You! Get me out of this Hi, Shadowheart! No time for Hi, girly! <laughs> hmm. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. Milo is on my lap again. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Hmm. Well, go look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Milo, you're bumping the mic, kitten. It's bad audio. It's bad audio, kitten. Okay, so we'll get... I guess we can get Shadowheart out. I guess. <laughs> I guess Milo, you, her tail is just like bumping up against the mic and doing all this nonsense. Milo, now she is like bumping up against my hand. Kitten. Kitten cat. Give me that. Give me those. Open up. She is a menace. She is a menace. It is true. Hello, weird little brain. Scimitar! Yes! Thank you. Matching swords, let's go. She just wants attention, she does. She always wants attention. She's, she, she, she acts like I never pay attention to her ever at all. Have you left any potential companions to die before? Not here. Um, I mean, I have not had Minthara at any point in the game, so I mean, that'll tell you something, but. 
Oh, hi, Jay. Welcome to stream. <laughs> How many people has Angry Girl killed? Just a couple. Just a couple. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Can they die on the ship? I don't think so, because I know if you leave Shadowheart, she does show up again later. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming. In yeah, I know this game is pretty forgiving sometimes. At least in the very beginning, it's like... If you fail to recruit a companion, they'll usually pop up again later. Oh, DC2. I did. I have failed that before, though. <laughs> Authority, yeah. I've seen so many people on TikTok talk about how the, um, the narrator's voice is just like, every time she says authority, it's just like, huh. <laughs> I like how this game lets your choices matter. Yeah, it really is cool, like, how much went into, like, the choices in this game. It's very interesting. Hi, Shadowheart. Bonjour, girly. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness, because you have a gift with you. Keep dangerous company. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. True. <laughs> Looks like there's plenty of fighting ahead. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. All right, then let's get going. I'm Emery. One moment. Hang on, I gotta get my dice. We're playing D and D. I gotta get my D twenty out of my little thing here. <laughs> What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Okay. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm now. She's right. Lead on. All right. So real quick. Hi, Shadowheart. Here, in case you guys didn't know, there is a fun little hack that you can do here to get a uh, really good item right at the start of the game. And we're just gonna have a little fun with it. We're just gonna have a little fun. <laughs> the trick, yes, I learned this from Jay. It is apparently a fairly well-known uh, little hack at this point, but I want that very cool sword is the thing. I want that very cool sword, the very cool sword. <laughs> Star reveals your gamer skills. Okay, so my thing is, like, my gamer skills in this game typically amount to hit the thing really hard until it dies. Um, but apparently I'm, like, reasonably good at it because I've had other... I've, like... A lot of my friends from my group chat are also, pl are also playing this game. And uh, I've seen people complaining. It's like, God, I never have enough health potions. It's like all the enemies in this game hit so freaking hard. And I feel like I'm just, like, constantly trying to stay alive. And I'm like... I've got, like, 50 minor healing potions in my bag, and I'm Act 3. <laughs> I barely use those shits. But I guess maybe it was like, I was playing as a paladin during my first run, so, you know, we got the heals from that. There's a number of things it could be. What's up, Mind Flayer? Get shit on! See that cool sword? I want it. I want that flame sword. We must ah, I want that flame sword. Give me the flame sword. Give it to me. Alrighty. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. Oh, that voice is bothering me. It doesn't suit her. I forgot to. For those who are just joining, I uh, did forget to change the voices. I got everything else. Forgot to change the voices. Before I finished character creation, I was going to give her a different voice and I forgot. So we're going to have to change it once we get off the ship and we can go to camp. Use that hashtag magic mirror hacks. It's fine. <laughs> give me the cube, boy. What is this, Transformers? Give me the cube. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword. Oh, Lazelle, baby, you're actually getting kind of hurt here. 
Wait, okay, that had a 90% chance to hit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? This is a bullshit. This is a bullshit. Okay, there. Thank you, Shadowheart. At least she doesn't sound like Kermit the Frog. Yeah, imagine a character as cool as Emery sounding like Kermit. That would be a ridiculous thing to have happen and surely would never happen ever in any kind of any scenario. But it's a silly thing to even bring up. <laughs> Who would let her sound like that? Good fucking question, Jay. Who would let her sound like that? I fucking wander. I fucking wander. <laughs> uh, for those who have not seen the most recent What's Left of Us episode, uh, I did happen to be absent for... Oh, son of a bitch. Give me your sword, bro. I know. Okay, just fucking. I'm gonna take the transponder and I want that cool fucking sword, bro. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. It's clear. Hurry before they strike. Give me it. Give me the cool sword. I refuse to leave this ship without the cool sword, damn it. But I will get Emery over there. Okay, if you save again, I'll be very grumpy. Thank you! Yoink! <laughs> My sword now, get shit on! Get shit on! <laughs> So uh, if you're wanting to play this game and you want to get that really cool flame sword, uh, that's how you do it. <laughs> you uh, trade out some of Shadowheart's spells, you give her command, and then you just uh, fucking make a break for it. Yay! See, I would never have thought of that as the thing. The mechanics of this game allow you to do some interesting shit, and I'm here for it. Oh, Shadowheart. Oh, baby girl. Um, excuse me? Rude. Did I tell you you could bite me? No, I did not, actually. Get shit on. Take this shit. Okay, hello, it is I, the coolest girl in the world. Looting your imps, touching your shit. Let's go. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. Ew. Ugh, can you imagine how slimy those things must feel? Eh. Icky. Hello, Dargan. Please leave me alone, I'm baby. That's the opposite of leaving me alone. <laughs> uh, Emery plus fire sword equals awesome fire battle. See, here's the thing though, is that Emery is a dual swords wielder. So I might give the cool sword to somebody else. We'll see. We'll see. I might let her use it at first, but I think I usually give it to Karlak. Carlac or Lazel, but I don't imagine that I'm going to be using Lazel much in this playthrough because we don't need two fighters. Um, there's only room for one fighter in this squad, and that's me. Eldritch Knight. Emery Black. The worst girl in the world. <laughs> okay, real quick. I'm getting Discord DMs. Who is DMing me? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna sh close the blinds because it's getting dark outside. So here's my thing, you guys. I'm, mm, daylight savings time is kicking my ass. 
my dumb lizard brain wants to rise with the sun and go to sleep with the sun. And I've like crawled into bed at like 9 p.m. for the past several days. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, daylight savings time, kicking my ass. And it doesn't usually kick my ass this badly. So I'm not sure what's up. Hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. She's a baby and she's here. Cause problems on purpose. Buongiorno, month flayor. Ouch! Bye! <laughs> Milo is here. Oh! Cornvenient. Activate the big suck and save yourself. The big suck will not save me from falling out of a spaceship, Jay. Sheesh. Supernova Blade, thank you for the super chat. I love great artists, storytellers, and comedians. Aw, thank you. I assume you're talking about me. <laughs> I assume you're talking about me. Oh boy. The worst girl in the world has officially been unleashed. We alive. I half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. All right, simmer down there, Edge Lord. <laughs> All right. It's not over. It's oh, real quick, I want to go to camp and I want to change her voice. I, I assume you can change that in the magic mirror thing. You can change everything else. I hope it lets me change my voice because I had one in mind that was really good for her. I just forgot to change it. I'm so glad they finally implemented this because people were begging for a way to change your character's appearance. Okay, thank God. Let's hope the locals are friendly. There we go. That's the one I wanted to use for. Okay, we're good. We're good, gamers. We're good. Okay, back to it. <laughs> A brief aside, and we're back in this fucking place. You drink in the pungent corpse. Okay, ew. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. All right, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> um, push the smile away. This is vile. With a shake of your head, you can hear your own blood throbbing in your ears. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. It's called the big suck, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, is it? Is Shadowheart not here? Oh, that's interesting. She's usually like right here when you get off the ship. Huh. I wonder if that's a dirge thing or an updated thing. Emery's super horny for killing for some reason. Yeah, what the fuck, girly? Wizard hat! This narrator is killing it. Oh, she will continue to kill it. Like, all the voice actors in this game are so fucking good. So good. The intellect devourers never have anything, but I always want to loot them anyway. If you guys hear, like, weird things bumping the mic, that would be my cat making biscuits on my lap and getting all up in my business. <laughs> she really, really, really wants to make biscuits. Yeah, sure, I'll take your fish. Give me your fish, random corpse. It reset my name to the dark urge, did it? Damn it! Uh. 
Fucking mirror. I heard that it did that. Huh. And we're back here again. <laughs> Did you have a favorite NPC slash animal from all of your playthroughs? So I've only beaten the game once. All of my other playthroughs um, have only made it through Act 1. Or they're still on Act 1. My name is Emery. Thank you. Favorite NPC, though. Aside from the party characters. Um, unless you would like me to include the party characters, because I definitely have some favorites. Um, of, like, the main party members you can recruit, um, Gail is my boy. That is my boy. That is my wizard. I love him very, very much. <laughs> Beyond them? Okay. Um, what are some other good NPCs? Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, duh. Uh, Aelin. Aelin is an NPC you meet in Act 2, and I want her to step on me. <laughs> Not like actually, but I mean like, oh my god, girl. I love her so much. She is a Badass! Simp, shut up! When you see her, you will get it, okay? <laughs> when you when you meet Aelin, you will get it. You will get it. And back up. And then I will try and take them out. With both hands! <laughs> That's what got me most excited to play. Saw clips of great voice acting, cough, a starry and cough, and the mocap motion with the dialogue, crazy immersive. Oh no, yeah, it's super fucking good. And I whack. And I whack. Come at me, brain! Ah! Eat shit and die. In that order. Thank you kindly. I'm not a simp. I I I'm not simping. I can respect a cool lady who could kick my ass. <laughs> All right. Okay. Glad we understand each other. I like Isabel too. I'm trying to get um, two of my friends to cosplay uh, Isabel and Aelin because I'm just like. Uh, so when I went to visit my friend Sarah and Athena um, for Anime Week in Atlanta a few weeks ago. Uh, I, bless their hearts, I was talking their ears off about this game the entire time. Um, but I was just, I spent my whole weekend being like, how do I convince them to play this game? Because it is very good, and I think I could get them to. And then I was like, oh, hey guys, there's lesbians in it. <laughs> and then they were like, oh, well now I want to play it. I'm like, whew, good. <laughs> Are you guys ready to meet my favorite boy? You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. I want to see my special boy. It looks so I want to see my special boy. <laughs> Touch. Anyone? <laughs> oh, yeah, so with the Dark Urge, you do occasionally get some uh, spicy dialogue options. We are not going to chop this man's hand off, though. Um, I, you guys, I don't care what character I'm playing as. I don't care what my backstory is. I don't care about role playing in this one instance, there is only what there is a correct option, and it is, of course, Ow. slap the hand. <laughs> I, should have mm -hmm. and I love him yeah. so much. You just give him a fucking high five. Ignore the urge to maim, grab the hand and pull. Jesus Christ, okay. 
There we go. I love my wizard very much. It's so weird though. Why wasn't Shadowheart on the beach? Where'd she go? Where is my goth girl? Hi, Gale! That's my boy! Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. At introductions? At magic. Say oh, them. boy, your beard is looking a little crunchy with these low graphics. <laughs> on the North Lloyd as well. You went back to camp, so she moved on? Is that what happened? Oh, shit, I fucked it up. Oops. <laughs> Shadow Hearts on the ground near the wreckage you were at? No, she wasn't there. I guess she must have left when I went back to camp to change my character's voice. Oops. You were on the Nautiloid as well. Um, I was. I can only assume you two were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. <laughs> couldn't, uh, couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself, or that's hardly any of your business. Hmm. We are playing the worst girl in the world, Will. Hmm. What would she say? Hmm. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? I love him, he's such a fucking nerd. Uh, so here's another fun fact for those who haven't played this game. It gives you some custom, it occasionally gives you custom dialogue options based on what class you're playing. And in my experience, the barbarian ones are fucking funny. Um, but we are playing as a fighter, so we're mostly going to get, like, jock shit. <laughs> uh, I was going to ask you the same question. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Sure. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Nerd. Oh. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. I wonder if there is a way to get his beard to be less chunky uh, without turning up the graphics too much higher, because uh, if I turn the graphics up too much higher, my computer will probably start chug-a-lugging again. So we will have to see. How are you planning on building Ariana Black there? Shut the fuck up, first of all. Uh, Jay likes to tease me over the fact that uh, Emery and Ariana from my webcomic have very similar personalities, but they are not the same character, goddammit. Hmm. There, a mind flayer, and it's hurt. Buongiorno, motherfucker. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Oh, they're not? Shut up! I will fucking... Listen, I spared Gale's hand. I will bite your hands off, though. <laughs> Given to the emotion, this isn't right. Step away. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should this fucking mind flayer is gaslighting me with telepathy. Shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to love it ew then the feeling slips the creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere take advantage of the lapse and break free the monster lies exhausted defeated its eyes wet orange pearls radiate malice close those eyes forever get shit on bro ugh 
Gail's just like looking off into space like, hmm, what's up there? <laughs> oh yeah, I can level up now, yay. I should be nicer, I suppose you have been very supportive. Thank you for acknowledging that. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool and I, I'm capable of making more than one character archetype. I can make two <laughs> or three. Away with you, Cthulhu. Be gone. Stepity step. Subclass evocation. I might stick with evocation again with him. Oh, Gail, these textures are making you look very blonde. That's unsettling and weird to look at. Brunette, blonde. Brown hair, blonde. Brown hair, blonde. My boy went to the beach and he got some sun. <laughs> uh, we can stick with evocation. Um, I I did evocation with him and um, on my Verity playthrough, and then just had him just cast all kinds of AOE spells, and then nobody else, nobody ever got hit by anything. It was awesome. Uh, if you're a wizard, you have to have magic missile. And what else do I want to give him? We'll do. Let's see. Mm, color spray, chromatic orb, mm, charm person, burning hands. Tasha City's laughter is pretty good. Between Tasha's or chromatic orb, TBH. He's becoming a shining blonde star of everyone. Uh, yeah, he's like a middle-aged pop star with those uh, frosted tips there. <laughs> Um, we'll do... I haven't gotten to play with Tasha's Hideous Laughter much. I think that'll be fun. And then prepare spells. Let's see. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Magic Missile. We're going to get rid of sleep, and we're going to do that. And we're going to probably get rid of grease, and we will do Tasha's Hideous Laughter. There we go. That's my boy. <laughs> That's my wizard right there. All right. So, Astarian is this way. We can't get Shart, so we gotta go get... There he is. Look at this motherfucker. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? <laughs> kill it yourself. You look capable enough. We'll see how this goes. for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Bitch! Hmm. Quickly roll away, push yourself to your feet. Um, I want to headbutt him. Do I now have the option to headbutt him? Oh, I guess that comes later. Um, push yourself to your feet. My strength is higher. Oh, ha! Oh, very close. Fuck off, vampy man! I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Hmm. I haven't done anything to you yet. <laughs> you arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling, dark, busy. Why is your strength higher than your dex? That's not my Emery. <laughs> Hashtag not my Emery. I don't know. I I, I didn't base it entirely on uh, her her in-game stats for, like, the actual game. I might go back and, like, respect her slightly, but we'll see. Hmm. Um, honestly, I have no idea. It's those tentacled monsters. Whatever they did, whatever they put in us, just created a connection. They took you too. I saw it during... whatever just happened. And to think... I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. Mm-mm. Glad to see we're all caught up now. <laughs> yeah. 
Please, allow me to introduce myself. So the funny thing about Astarian is Astarian. obviously, like, you know, I when I was first, before I started playing this game, you kind of imagine what the characters will sound like in your head before you ever hear their voices. And I just remember um, that when I first heard Astarian's voice on, like, a clip on Twitter, I'm like, oh, he literally sounds exactly what I thought he would sound like. It was uncanny how my um, mental image of what his voice sounded like is literally exactly what he ended up sounding like. And it's, it's, it's very funny. Hmm. Okay, see, all of these options are new. These must all be Dark Urge options. Um... Two is calling to me, but I'm not sure if she would come out and say it right away. Because I think this is saying more along the lines of, like, I'm dangerous, stay away from me, and not I'm dangerous, um, don't fuck with me. So I think I'm going to go with number one. I'm in quite the state, but I think I'm Emery. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? I know we don't want them in our heads. No. Of that much, we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? <laughs> okay, so here's the thing is Emery would probably say, do what you want, I'm leaving, but I do want other party members. Emery, you can't just tell everyone to fuck off. You can't just tell everyone to fuck off, Emery. Because we won't have any party members that way. And what's your plan? Well, getting out of here for a start. Then finding anyone who knows about these worms. I need an expert. Someone who knows how to control these things. Control them? I want them gone. Well, yes, of course. But first things first... God, she would tell him to fuck off, though, but I want other party members, damn it. We're breaking character just to, for recruitment, from recruitment purposes so that I actually have other characters in the fucking party. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Okay, calm down, Edge Lord. Jeez. Jeez, Luis. <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about the Baldur's Gate initiative. Oh boy. Welcome to the squad. Alrighty. And we're moving on. Oh, wait, there's a thing over here I want to get. Because there's some stuff in this area. Pig! Get it! <laughs> there's some stuff in this area we can get that will prove useful. Dude, I love for a second. Look how far you are. Someone just drove past my house real fast. Yeah, I've played the beginning stages of Act 1 many, many times. in the mud around that rock. So I am uh, familiar with the location of things. Map. And some stuff. Loot! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, so as far as the Emery build for this game, um, I did make her strength a little bit higher than this one. Because... Um, I believe I based Emery more on Dex in the as like an actual D and D character, um, but I have been meaning to respec her a little bit because I think I gave her too much charisma and I should have like beefed her intelligence a little bit. I think intelligence or strength or given her a little bit more dexterity because I'm like, yeah, she's like uses intimidation a lot, but she doesn't she doesn't need to have like a 14 charisma as a as a fighter. I don't think I think she's good without that. 
Yeah, so now seems like a prudent time to notice. Okay, thank you for not walking through the fire, my beautiful boys. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay, this is around where Lazelle is. We can get her, and then we can go get Withers, I think. Yeah, there she is. You have a manner of irresistible desperation about you. You are in a fern. Okay, well, you're you're cringe and you're in plants, so I'm going to not. <laughs> Hang on, I'm getting all tangled up in my blankets. Ah, ah. Okay, so here's the thing. I have been thinking. Oh, hi, and Milo is immediately in my lap. Hello, kitten. Yellow as a toad. Hi, kitten. Cat is here. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Hello. Skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. <laughs> hmm. Rather demanding for a woman in your position, why should I? Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Hmm. My deception and persuasion are the same. Okay. Milo, Milo, you're bumping the mic, kitten. It's bad audio. It's bad audio, kitty cat. I'm gonna raise the mic a little bit. My mic is like always getting loose. It drives me crazy. Um, I want them to leave because I don't want to kill them. Okay, cool. You would not believe how many times I have failed that role. <laughs> right, let's go. We need to check out that blast. Blast, I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where's this camp? Oh, wasting my crits here. <laughs> Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Nothing's bad audio when a Milo is doing it. Oh, I suppose. She is a very good little cat. Say please. Never. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I've been thinking about the characters in this game, who we want to use in the party, and potentially who my girl's gonna end up romancing. And so here's the thing. Um, I feel like Gail is too much of a goody two shoes for her. Um. Astarian would, she would probably hate his guts. Like, he would probably really like Emery because, you know, she's a badass who sasses people all the time. Um, she would probably hate his guts, though. She would find him annoying. <laughs> I can see Emery having a similar relationship to Lazelle as Shadowheart does. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like she'd be fine with Lazelle, but she gets annoyed because, like, Lazelle's really pushy. Um... Um, Shadowheart, she's probably, like, okay with it. It's like, yeah, you're, you're fine. Stop preaching at me, but whatever. Um, Carlac, I think she would be besties with, but I can't see her being romantic with, uh, Carlac, which leaves one very special boy who I am. We will see if I will actually be able to romance Will in this file. Because of the character that Emery is, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get his approval high enough. But I'm gonna fucking try, because I think that Will would be really good for her. How about Halson? Eh. So here's the thing, you guys. Jay loves Halson so much. I look at Halson and I'm like, he's okay, but he looks like if Spock had a gym bro arc. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine, but he's not really my taste. Um. Hmm. A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. 
The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. And what exactly is a crush? It is many things. A hatchery. A Halston is probably too goody two shoes for Emery. Yeah, that too. The Yankee protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole. And so the thing about Will that is also um, making me want to romance him in this file as Emery specifically is uh, I'm not going to spoil it, but there is some stuff that happens with Will that is eerily similar to what happens with Emery, like in the actual plot of what's left of us. And I'm just like, oh, they could bond over that. <laughs> I do like Will. I think he's very sweet. I have not used him too much in my previous playthroughs, but I do want to use him in this run and I want to make him a warlock paladin combo. <laughs> so that will be fun. Um, all right, we'll journey together. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A Kresh must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. All right, Lazel levels up, and I think we can give her the big sword. Because we're not going to get Karlak for a while. Um, but yeah, if you guys are here and you're watching this stream and you have not seen... Where the fuck is my flame? Shadowheart has the fire sword. Shadowheart has my cool sword. No! Damn it. Shadowheart has my cool sword. Uh, no! Damn it. We have to fight her. Shadowheart! Shadowheart, you took my sword. Shadowheart! Shadow Hunter, want my cool sword? You give the flame sword to Will, no problem. Can he? Can warlocks use the the big sword? Can warlock use big sword? Yeah, we're gonna go get Withers really quick, which means interfacing with these guys. You're looking positively baney. What's this thing? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, both of these are good. The only thing you own is your life. Leave before I take that too. Take your best shot. You'll only get one. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, but I feel that's like that's gonna launch us into a fight. Well, it's EXP. Oh yeah. Well we're we're I ain't fighting her. Not a we're uh, we're leaving. Ah, oh, cowards. Cowards. It would have been quicker to kill them. Trust me, Lazel, I would have. I would have. They're a bunch of fucking cowards, though. So here's the thing. We can sneak in that way. But I like going in this way. Take the sneaky route. You shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Come on, girly. You can jump down there. You can jump down there. Come on. There we go. Yeah, well, see, I see you people saying, it's like, oh, well, Star's going to get ambushed now. We'll see. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Catch on fire about it, though. Um, I can't reach the fire unless I do this. Ah! <laughs> Jared Sainwater, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, hang on, I gotta hit this barrel real quick. Real quick. Hit this barrel. Come on, Astarian. Come on, pretty boy. 
There we go. There we go. How does that taste? Oh yeah, run straight through the fire. Yeah, that'll, that'll good. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> MVP truly. Truly. If you guys got a gifted membership there, make sure to say thank you. Can we get some like hearts in the chat? For memberships all around. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, y'all were worried about me getting ambushed. I blew- I exploded all of them! I exploded them all. They are all in fuego now. A rough tempest I will raise. <laughs> Just love watching your stream so much. Thank you! Magic Missile can go around corners and stuff, right? It sure as shit can! Boom. Does anyone know why I have this little crown on? Avatar? Because I've never seen that. That must be a thing they added in a new patch. Give me that. Look at all these fucking guys. Didn't stand a chance. Did not stand a chance. See, if you come in from this way, they all just kind of gang up behind- they all just kind of gang up in front of you, and then it's hard to get rid of them, and it's a pain in the butt. I like to go down the fun way. And then we just take on this guy. Andorn, more like and dead. See you in a minute, my guy. <laughs> I'm Fury. I am death. You are edgy, Blazel. Goodness gracious. Alright, come on, girl. You can do better than that. You can do better than that. Come on, girly. Gail, come on, buddy boy. You can hit him with a fire. You can hit him with the fire. It, path is interrupted. There is a single fucking... A single fucking pillar in the way of me hitting this dude. Gail! Gail, my sweet boy! My sweet, precious boy. Just scoot over just a, just a fucking, just a little fucking, oh my fucking god. I'm not gonna waste a magic missile on this guy. No chance. <laughs> yeah, come over to your death, buddy boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's very cute. Thinking that your friends will hear you. They are all dead. They are all dead. We exploded them. A chunk. Give me that. Where can I go? Give me that. Wish I had a bag of. Okay. So, is there any loot in here? I think there's some. Yes. What's in here? A couple of chests and things. Mm hmm. That's curious. What did that do? Mm. Okay, we're gonna leave that. Yeah, so I'm a bit of a loot goblin in this game a lot of the times, but I feel like just watching me loot stuff is going to be kind of boring. So I'm going to, you know, try to keep the excessive looting to a minimum. And I don't know, maybe I'll like go back when I'm not streaming and I'll sell all my shit and do all that. <laughs> it's the dank crypt, you guys! Oh shit, it's the dank crypt! Let's go! It's dank in here! I'm sorry, that was a stupid joke. This place wasn't built for the living. But it's the stupid joke that I have to make every single time we come through here. <laughs> dank crypt of dank memes, let's go! Do they have tacos? It's dank! Oh man, I gotta tell you guys this. So, um... I don't know if I have mentioned this already. I know a starion could like pick that lock. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Um, 
So I went to Oklahoma recently um, for a family reunion slash funeral. Um, and while I was there, I learned very quickly that um, a certain uh, devil's lettuce is uh, <laughs> apparently uh, it is perfectly legal in uh, in Oklahoma. No trap disarm toolkit available. I don't need to disarm it. I just want to touch it. Touch. Touch. And now, I have a lot on my mind. Can get in there. And well, anyway, so we learned very quickly uh, that uh, the devil's lettuce is in fact legal in Oklahoma because I I got to a point where. Uh, I was, my mom and I were driving around and I started keeping count of all the freaking dispensaries that we passed. I, I didn't even start counting until like halfway through the weekend and I got up to like 30. I got up to, I think probably even higher than 30. I think it was closer to 40 actually by the time I was done. My mom and I would be driving around and I'd just be talking and I'm like, yeah. And so then I went and told this person, this thing, 35. And, <laughs> um, and they all had, you know, wonderful names. Um, but my favorite one that I saw was a building that was, uh, <laughs> was a building that was like painted bright green Oh, a star in honey. Come on, you can do better than that. It's a 15, you can pass that. There we go. Oh, and we're outside. Well, <laughs> uh, my favorite one that I saw over the course of the weekend was this like black and green painted building um, that was called the House of Dank. That's the only way. <laughs> the House of Dank, ladies and gentlemen. And I was so sad that we drove past it too fast for me to take a picture of it because it was truly something to see. Um, it was definitely a building and it was very funny to look at. Um, but I did not get a picture of it and I curse myself to this day about it. Let me clear out my inventory a little bit. That's just a regular bottle. It's not a fun one. Okay. Oh, that was extremely unsatisfying. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. The world's most unsatisfying sneeze. <laughs> I just didn't want to blow your guys' ears out. Dun, dun, do, do. Got all these fucking cups and bowls. <laughs> the dank house of dank with its dank green. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, a glaive. Interesting. Uh, okay, that's what I wanted. Um, I can send this to Astarian. My boy. Which way to the nearest library? You can get a crossbow, my boy. Blackets will be done. And then you have a short bow. Okay, you can you can keep your short bow, Lazel. It's fine. You're probably not going to be doing much ranged. Lockpick. Google Maps tell me there are eight houses of dank. That's that's so many. Look at all these dank houses that are here. <laughs> Listen, I just I sneezed and I freaking didn't do a very good job. No sign Don't make fun of me. I just didn't want to blow out the mic. About their words, but they commanded protection. Uh, they were obviously writing suspicious things in their diary, Gale. What's Don't be mean? so nosy. Jerbo. Shrine to the god of cringe fanfics you wrote when you were in the seventh grade. Obviously. I would never make fun of you. There has never been a bigger lie told in the chat of my stream. I swear to god. Don't believe him, chat. This man makes fun of me every single day of my goddamn life. He's the bane of my existence. I should have just ghosted him. I should have left that email unread. <laughs> 
But no, I wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons. Jeez, now look where it got me. A liar? Yes, you are. You are a liar. Thank you for acknowledging it. <laughs> oh, good. Skellymans. The Skellymans. But do you deserve it? No. I have never deserved anything less in my entire life. I am a wonderful human being who has never done anything wrong ever in her entire life. And to even suggest otherwise is a crime. Time to strike. No time to waste. Kaylee's all get in the pit. All right. That's fine, I guess. What now? These boots have seen everything. Emery's like, I'll show you how it's fucking done. That's how you fire a crossbow. <laughs> yeah, come over here, Skellymans. Get over here, I dare you. En fuego! Okay, oh, come on, buddy boy. Come on, buddy boy. You can do better than that. Come on, buddy boy. Ugh. Oh, sweet man. Look at all these fucking skellymans. You had ghosted me. How would you have gotten the free psychoanalysis that I offer? Yeah. So here's the thing, chat. Is that... Oh, 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 Astarian. Oh, sweet boy. Oh, no. He's, he's staying far too frosty. Okay, well, well, we'll, we'll sacrifice a little bit of that to give you some juice. With pleasure. Okay, okay. We'll sneak sweet boy over here. Damn girl, get him. Oh, Lazel, come on. Come on, Lazel. Come on, girly. Yeah, Emery, get his ass. Let's go, baby girl. Boom. I love her. That's my kick-ass daughter. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I learned that uh, Jay, our beloved DM, uh, the DM behind What's Left of Us, the D&D show where I play Emery in, uh, loves to just fucking psychoanalyze the shit out of everyone who plays in his tables. And just, just kicks their asses about it. Rude, frankly, honestly. Coming for my ass did not. <laughs> it's free therapy, but God, at what cost? <laughs> nice plug. Yeah, I'm known for them. Which, by the way, hey guys, if you uh, watched our D&D show, What's Left of Us? You can watch the entire thing for free on Jay's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at the Jaycorn. Uh, and in fact, we actually have a session coming up this Friday, where we will engage in further shenanigans, maybe fighting a dragon, maybe fighting a dragon about it, I don't know, maybe, some people asked us nicely to, and so I guess we have to go fight a dragon now, because that's a thing. Have to keep uh, uh, it's fine. Gail, sweet baby boy, you don't have to get in the fray. You're too, you're too, you're too squishy for that. Oh, we are gonna need a short rest after this. <laughs> I can never keep track of when I can sneak attack people. I just want to sneak attack all the time. Just let me snack. Let me sneak attack. All right, there we go. I'm going to give you guys... You guys fought good in that one. We get a short rest. There we go. One gold. Pitiful. You will never make it across the river sticks. Have to keep going. My offering now. Crumch. <laughs> the shilling continues. Welcome to my live streams where I will shill constantly. I actually added a couple new uh, timers to the stream element spot uh, to remind folks to subscribe to what's left of us but to uh, also subscribe to my podcast channel, which I'm going to try and show more because the podcast will be making a return 
not like super duper soon, not like in the next like two weeks or anything, but it is coming back. We are planning a return to form uh, reasonably soon. Oh, wait, I actually have to, I forgot the whole reason I came down here was to get a spooky skeleton. Yes, my friend Sarah and I run a podcast together, the Idle Days Podcast. If you like the sound of my annoying ass voice and you want to hear me and my bestie talk about idle anime, you can go subscribe to our channel. I'm trying to get that channel up to a thousand subs now so we can maybe start earning a little bit of revenue on it because that sure would be nice. That sure would be nice if we could get that channel up to earn a little bit of ad rev. Oh, it's a skeleton. Sir, your head looks like a football. Your head looks like a football. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Skeleton just came out of the pit. And now he's interrogating me. Hmm. Little spooked by the crawling out of the tomb pit. What are you? I am not the same as those thou hast slain. If that is what thou askest, wilt thou answer my question? I don't know you answers. You're weird. That is true, but matters not. You won't escape we this dialogue tree. <laughs> we will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. All right. You're weird. I'm leaving now. Okay, I think I've already got all the stuff here. So I think I can probably just, uh, um, roadside cliffs. Sleep. Just gonna make an expeditious zoom away. Star is good at shilling and is more or less trying, futilely trying to help me do the same. Yeah, I am, I am everybody's hype man. I am, I'm trying to, I mean, okay, so like you guys, I did just post a new video today about how I've been using YouTube for marketing and things. And if you haven't watched it yet, you should, uh, cause it's like almost 40 minutes of me talking about YouTube, but also talking about things like marketing and being an artist and doing this job full time and all this other stuff. Um, and I do talk about the value of shilling and other things. Indigo dye, ooh, fancy schmancy. I'm gonna save that. Cause we do need to get my girly in some better drip. This just regular ass armor is not doing it for me. Who's ready for a fight? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You don't even have tails! What are you talking about? <laughs> Please! There's no time! Why are you blonde now? <laughs> Nine hells! Open the gates! <clears throat> Ouch. Uh-oh, you locked out. Gerbos! Damnable roach! <gasps> it's the boy! Provoke the blade! Damn! 
and suffer its sting. Hi, Will! That's the boy right there. All right. Snack! Short for sneak attack. Let's go. Ready or not. Yeah. Sheesh kebab that gabo. Yup. He sure as shit did. He borbed. <laughs> Okay, well, guess what? That's pretty big talk for somebody who's easily within stabbing range. Light on my feet. I love wits. Hmm. Gail, sweet boy, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I think you want to do a witch bolt on a warg. I think that's what you want to do. Sorry, simping. You have not seen simping. This is me complimenting a character that I enjoy. You don't even know simping. You want to see simping. <laughs> oh, you have not seen anything yet. I just like Will because he's cute. And he's nice. He's a sweet boy. <laughs> you have not seen the depths of my simpage. Damn, get his ass. On the move. What I honestly thought was kind of funny is there is actually a, a pretty sizable uh, fan base for Zevlor. Like a lot of the Tiefling NPCs actually have like pretty sizable fan bases. Oh, good. Thanks for the grease spell. I appreciate it. Oh, dude, he was right in front of you, seriously. Don't hit any of these fuckers. You hit this one. There we go. Good boy. I'll bleed every last one of you! What does the simping sound like? I'm not just gonna give you that for free. I'm not gonna give you that for free. You gotta earn that. Emery, attack! Good girl. Death is but a word away. Lightning. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> But yeah, I'm planning on probably using Will for most of the game because I haven't really used him much yet in my previous playthroughs. Uh, how do we earn that? We find a character who's worth it. <laughs> oh, that was a whole gobbo ass. I did not need to have zoomed in quite that far. Thank you, video game. It was a whole fucking gobbo ass. Jeez Louise, some of the camera glitches in this game. <laughs> Guys, come on. Get your shit together, y'all. Jeez Louise. Sorry, and please don't slip. Okay, good boy. Boom jams. I'm not going to be able to reach him. I'm going to do... Crossbow. Oh, come on. And not enough movement. Alright, I'll just get in close then, I guess. Gale, Witch Bolt. Skaboom Jams. Oh, ooh, that was a spicy way to die. I've never killed anybody with an electric spell before, I guess. He got deep fried. Yeet. Oh my gosh. Once I learned that you could throw healing potions, it was, it, it's, it's game over at that point. I'm just like, oh yeah. Th I'm just going to be using this all over the damn place. Let's go. That was the last of them. It's 
inside. All of you, more may follow. You can throw healing potions. Yeah. So my favorite thing to do is if you're low on healing spells or potions, what you can do is uh, you can gather all of your party members in a little circle. Where is Gale? You have my attention. Gale, come on, buddy. Step by step. Looking ahead. Come on, buddy boy. Uh, you can get all of your party members to stand in a circle, and then you can just throw a healing potion at the ground, and it'll usually hit, like, two or three of them, depending on how closely you're standing together. It is very convenient. Okay, see here, I'll show you, I'll show you. So what you can do is you can get all your buddies to stand very close to each other. You can just gather them up. With ease. Just gather them up. We get in our little square of friendship. And then you can throw a healing potion on the ground. And pretty much everybody in that little blue circle. Yeah, see, like, if I threw it right now, I'd get all of them. And then you can use one healing potion on everybody. And you can use that in combat, too. Um, like, if you, if someone's far away, you don't have healing spells, and you just need to, you just need to fucking get them some heals, you can yeet healing potions at them. It's very convenient. Does this only work with minor healing potions? No, it works with any of them. I'm not sure if it works with other types of potions. This guy had a stuffed bear in his inventory. Well, he's dead now, so it's mine. Loot the gerblins? Don't mind if I do. sell these to traders and they're gonna be like why do you have so many of these random bones and i'm gonna be like don't ask questions you aren't prepared to hear the answers to don't worry about it oh wait not extract okay, okay is there any other gerbos nope here i go all right i'm going to quick save real quick See, it's fun when you do it with like potions of invisibility. There are children here, you fool! <laughs> we was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too. Unbelievable! Hmm. One fight just ended, and now you're picking another. Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. Oh. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Stand back and watch, I think. With a thunk. Get him, Zevlor! Get his ass! <laughs> Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately. Nursing his head for a ten day. For once. Seems his. Now that's settled. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Emery. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Hmm. I won't be staying that long, I just need to find a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Hmm. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. 
You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Okay, here's the thing. I'm probably gonna go with number two. We're gonna go do it anyway, though. <laughs> My head's a wreck. I've got too much else to deal with right now. Turning your back on the needy to save your own skin? Maybe we'll get along after all. Shut up, Astarian. The high-res textures with low-res everything else Thanks. makes everyone's skin looks really weird. If you'll excuse me, I'd best get my people moving. You've got the fire eyes too, sir. Just leave Aridin on the ground. Well, fuck him. He's a douchebag. Disintegrating journal. Like, actively? <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get some better loot. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. All right. Oh, I want to put Gale in that wizard hat so bad, but I'm probably not going to end up using him very much. I'll still put it on him. It'll be fun. Sell some of my excess nonsense. Anybody else have excess no, nonsense? I don't think so. I do have more stuff back at camp, but let's see what I can buy here. 404. Um, what you got? Why is your inventory all out of whack? Oh, is it actually sorted by item type and not by rarity right now? Oh, fascinating. Okay. Ring armor. Plus one bonus to strength saving throws. Disadvantage on stealth checks. No AC bonus from dexterity. I mean, that'll probably be the same, right? Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Potion of invisibility. Got some potions. Uh, can I get some stuff from my other boys? Um. Mm. So, Ring of Flinging. I'm going to want that for when we get Karlak eventually. I think I am just going to go with the Yeet Barbarian build for Karlak again. It's the same as what I used last time, but it's fun. <laughs> Okay, Sylvanas, I'll come back for some. I might do some like shopping and respecking and stuff off stream, but I want to do the interesting stuff while I'm streaming. Here's these guys. Do you open it? Pals, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. This guy's another one with a big fandom on Twitter. <laughs> Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Hmm. We should all stay. A single blade could make the difference. All right, baby girl, let's see. Oh, okay, cool. Let's go. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. So, Thank you, Roland. playing as a tiefling, I do get options that are, like, tiefling bases. Like, I am a tiefling, therefore it is within reasonable character that I would say this. Um, I'm reluctant to use those while playing as Emery for reasons. Uh, that you will be familiar with uh, if you have seen our D&D show What's Left of Us that you should totally go watch on our D&D cha channel, youtube.com slash at the jcorn. 
<laughs> uh, link is in the pinned comment, also in the description. Um, but yeah, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. Gale, sweet boy, sweet, sweet, beautiful baby boy. Is it a druid's grove before? Magic weighs heavier here, seeking solace in root and soil. Grounding, one might say. Oh, who? I have some other stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I was going to tell him to go back to camp so I could get Will in the party right away, but... My memories before the Nautiloid are shrouded in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of ceramorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. Perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If ceramorphosis takes I love how she's just covered in blood. The former self will be subsumed into the mind flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Okay, and I think she's gonna keep her violent thoughts to herself, but I'm gonna tell him to I go back to the camp. wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I know, baby boy, I love you very much. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. You're beautiful. Go, go hang out. I have a warlock I need to make friends with. <laughs> go on, give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Can I have a word? <laughs> well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... Sh the man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. When do we get cat cam? The kitties don't generally stay still enough for there to be like a consistent cat cam. And right now they're not here. Like, Molly's asleep on the other side of the room. I don't even know where Milo is. Probably committing crimes elsewhere. Fires. You were on the ship. Hmm. Um. Who is that woman? The one in your thoughts? She looked hot. <laughs> you saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli, a devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. You have a Mind Flayer tadpole in your head. Doesn't that worry you? I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Baldurin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. Hmm. Join me then. We'll search for a cure. <laughs> A worthy ally, perhaps. But I'll waste no time chasing devils while a tadpole feasts on our skulls. <laughs> I've seen your people in battle. I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. I'll presume that's Githyanki for yes. <laughs> now let's move. Join the party. Let's go. Is this level three now? I believe this is level three. Yes, level three. Let's go. Isn't subclass battle master? 
<laughs> I love the description of champion. You approach the complex problems posed by combat with one distinctly effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> I might just make her this. I'm probably not going to use Lazelle very much, like I said. If you make him a blade lock, he can use any weapon. Okay, good to know. Those in subclass battle master, get that shit out of here! Eldritch Knight! That's my baby girl. That's my baby girl right there. Um, Shocking Grasp. Ooh, hell yeah. Da 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 da. -da. Um, spells. I feel like Thunder Wave would be good because I'm usually up in the fights. And then Magic Missile. I feel like you can't you can't have magic and not use Magic Missile. Um, expanded. When a wizard spell to add to your repertoire. Um, Burning Hands is pretty good, and Emery does actually have that. In D and D, in D and D proper, that's my girly right there. That's my baby girl. <laughs> Hello, Will. Him is warlock. All right, let's see here. Ooh, finger guns. Hellish rebuke seems pretty good. Eldritch invocation. Add your charisma modifier to the damage it deals. Yes. Um. And then repelling blast. You can push the creature away. Yes. Place spell. What spells do you have? Eh, both of these are pretty good. Oh, do you have any spells that I want? Eh, I think you're okay. I think you're okay with that. When's your next art stream? Not sure. Um because I usually plan my street my uh, streams one week at a time. I'm not streaming on this Wednesday because I'll be busy prepping for Thanksgiving stuff. And I'm not streaming on Friday, but we are having our Dungeons and Dragons stream uh, on Jay's channel on Friday. Uh, so art stream potentially next week, but not one this week. Spells. Arkness, Crown of Madness, Cloud of Daggers is fun. Hold person. Shatter is also pretty good. A tough one. So many good spells. So many good spells. So many good spells, and I want to use all of them. We'll get Shatter for right now. I've been using that one a lot. Back to the blade! He was built for it. Never played Baldur's Gate 3, but now you're making me want to play. It is very fun. It is also extremely addictive. The pride of the gate. Here, let's see if we can get you some gear, my boy. Okay, I don't have any more crossbows. He's got a rapier. Oh, we still have Shadowheart over there. Hey, Lazel. Hey, Lazel. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalark. Roughly translated, idealist do-gooder. Or better yet, benevolent burden. <laughs> His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor. So mean. So that word would apply to Verity, too. Um, my past is the mystery to me. Could the parasite have caused that? Ceramorphosis takes all of you. Mind, body, soul. An ordinary tadpole would eat at your memories until they were lost to the void. But our tadpoles are far from ordinary. I wonder if another fact is in play. Okay, so I was going to tell her to wait in camp, but there is a thing that she wants to be here for right around the corner here. So we're going to do that, and then I'm going to send her to camp, and then I'm going to go get Shadowheart. I'm going to quick save really quick. I think Lazelle would like Verity. She'll admire her war crime potential. She's not a war criminal! She's a precious angel baby who's never done anything wrong, ever. Come to rip me open, too. 
In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Hmm. Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. <laughs> Like, I don't know. She seems pretty serious. You probably want to do it. Lower. Jeez Louise. You saw another gift. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. He said the game title. He said the thing. <laughs> Baldur's Gate. Whoa. <laughs> By the dead gods. Are all gifts so brutal? Brutal? Blood still flows through his own veins. I was positively gentle. All right, Lazel. Now that you've gotten what you want, your kind proves compliant. A useful trait. Hmm. What comes next? The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki weapons, teethling must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Tieflings with an F. The eye roll. <laughs> with the, well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. Fey rune. What do you mean purification? The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. All right. Chuck, be wary of false promises. The missing druid, Helsin, was it? He may be talented, but only a Githyanki Zathis can cleanse an embedded tadpole. Okay. Now you can go back to camp too. You believe you can survive without me? Yep, go to camp. As you say, do not keep me waiting. All right, so now that she's gone, we can go and get Shadowheart because she wasn't on the beach, which means that she is over here. You're alive. I woke up by the wreckage, surrounded by corpses. I was starting to think I was the only survivor. Hmm. Surprised you made it this far by yourself. I'm not helpless. Once I came to, I set out to find some means of surviving. Supplies, shelter, and a healer, of course. We might be clear of those monsters' ship, but we still have their spawn inside our heads. We need to get rid of them while we still can. Hmm. There has to be someone around this place who can help us. This grove is the home of the druid Halsin. Apparently, he's a reputed healer. He could probably help us. If only he hadn't gone missing. If we survive the crash, there might be others. Found any? No, but I haven't looked either. Staying alive kept me busy. Fair enough. Uh, what was that artifact you were playing with before? A toy. It's not important. Okay, let's join forces. We'll Better chance of survival. For our final moments. But yes, he looked like a better choice than a band of helpless refugees. Mm hmm. All right, let's get moving. Before we go, I wanted to thank you for freeing me aboard the Nautiloid. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Right then, lead on. All right. Give me my fire sword. Thank you. 
All right, let's do a little bit of equipping. On a hit with a weapon attack, inflict. Okay, so Emery's getting that. And yeah, sure, fuck it. I'll go ahead and uh, dye her armor. Ooh, that's kind of fancy schwanky. Purple. Purple. All right, and then let's see. If we can give Will the flame sword, we can. Not proficient with martial weapons or great swords. See? What I fucking tell you. Um. Oh, wait, that's the wrong thing. Um. Bind packed weapon. And you become proficient with it if you weren't already. Okay. There we go. So I'm just gonna have to remember to do that every day, I guess. Okay, now the boys can level up. I'll make him proficient and use his charisma. Excellent. Arcane trickster. Here's the thing. I always make Astarian a thief because that extra bonus action is like so good. But I feel like I build him the same way every single time. And I don't know if that's boring, but it works. <laughs> All right. And then Shadowheart, honestly, I'm just going to leave her like this. I'm not even going to mess with her too much. Because uh, here's the thing is uh, our goth girly, she's not going to be staying a trickster cleric for very long. <laughs> she simply will not is the thing. Because uh, trickster cleric is not very good. But I have been experimenting with some uh, other subclasses of cleric in my other playthroughs. And uh, I know a lot of people make her a life cleric because that adds... Um, that gives you better heals. And I know some folks who played with a light cleric, um, which is very ironic for her character... Um, but I personally have had good luck with her as a, uh, a Tempest Cleric, because Tempest Clerics have some cool fucking shit they can do. Um, and so I've been using her in one of my more recent playthroughs. Okay, come on. Hold there we hand, go. Lady. Let me show you something. Cross class her into a ranger. Oh, that's interesting. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. I do, um, I usually make a starry and like I give him like three levels in Gloomstalker Ranger, and then uh and then I also do the rest is like a thief rogue. Fancy trick. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Hmm. Okay, sure. Cool. Heads or tails? Uh, heads. You gonna make Carl like a bonk this time? I don't know. I might. I might make her the ye cleric, like, or not the ye cleric, the ye barbarian, like I did in previous playthrough, because I did have fun with that one. But we'll see. I don't know. I might tweak her slightly different. I just, I tried making Carlac a um. A totem barbarian last time, like in my most recent playthrough. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it, gang. It just doesn't feel right. Thanks for the free ring. Hey, hold on, you got <laughs> Here. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. All right. Hmm. I do want to give Gale this wizard hat. I keep forgetting to give him the wizard hat. Purple red dye. I will take that. Um, purple dye. Do I have purple dye? No, I have indigo dye. I'll take purple dye. You can't fight crime if you're not dressed cute. That's the rule. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some of the stuff in here is... Uh, some of the stuff that the kids sell is very funny. Uh, ring of being really invisible. This ring is missing its gem, or perhaps it's just very invisible. Ring of infinite wishes. The exterior of this ring is roughly carved with nonsensical runes. Ring of resistance to ants. A glob of tree sap studded with dead ants occupies the space where this ring stone once sat. 
and Ring of the Lekinesis. A small pebble swings from a length of fishing line. <laughs> Did they try to spell telekinesis? Oh. Of uh, the Lekinesis. Oh my god, these fucking kids. Oh my goodness. You bought something. Most everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. Hmm. Support a young businessman. Emery does have a soft spot for kids. Definitely that is canon. Anyway, because she has got a baby sister that she loves very much. As you turn to leave, you realize the other child does too. She looks nervous. Oh, Emery, you just got robbed and you didn't notice. Oh my god. Girl. Hey, you're back. Look to buy, sell, or what? She didn't. She failed both those perception checks. Emery, no, you got robbed, girl. You got your ass robbed. Oh my goodness. All right, well, that happened. It's fine. Please, that's it's fine. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Ragrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out. Bear. Things on my mind. Sup? Carl Magrin, give her a chance. You, step back. Go join the other tieflings. Give her a chance. Get out of here. <laughs> hmm. If it weren't for me, you'd be overrun by goblins by now. I'll go where I please. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? No, I can't, okay. Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh, good. Oh, I do wish I could understand you. Hello, Volo, you fucking nerd. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Oh, he's such a nerd. There's no overstating my disinterest. I've no time for questions. I'll make it very quick. Hand to heart. Fine. <laughs> Glory. Now then. Would you recommend this game for someone who doesn't enjoy D&D but does enjoy RPGs? I mean... The game is very much based on the mechanics of D&D 5e. So if you don't especially enjoy the mechanics of d d you might not vibe with it super much. But, I mean, it is genuinely a very fun game. Um, they were goblins, same as all the others. Goblins? It's like, yeah, Emery's just like, yeah, fucking whatever, dude. <laughs> of wilting a witness. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? I think there's been a misunderstanding. What do you want exactly? The truth, <laughs> my friend. Not a jot, more or less. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? I don't think so. I was concentrating on not dying. Really? Well, this does complicate things. But then again, well, never mind. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! <laughs> Hold your tongue. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. This is where Starstream crashed last time. Yeah, this is about as far as we got with the uh, other Baldur's Gate stream. So everything past that, if you guys have only seen it from my streams, you'll actually get to see some new stuff after this. We 
careful. Goblins aren't known for mercy. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back Ocean. pocket. Ocean. Until we meet again. I see, I would say spoken like a true bard, but apparently this guy's not even a fucking bard. He's a wizard. Does it say? I, it doesn't say on a sheet. But I've heard that he's like actually a wizard. He's dressed like a bard. He looks like a bard. Everything about him screams bard. But apparently he's a fucking wizard. So there's a thing down here that I want to get. secret little necklace hidden under a rock and it's very convenient so if you guys ever plan to do a uh to do a run where you romance a starian uh this amulet just lets you cast lesser restoration for free once a day so uh <laughs> it can get rid of that uh that bloodless uh thing that he attaches to you which is good. I'm just going to give that to myself for right now. Because I don't have any other amulets. But yeah, that's just under a rock in the Druid's Grove. You can just get that. I didn't know about that until I uh, just saw it on, like, TikTok or Twitter or something. Yes. Yes, I'm quite aware. All right. So there are a lot of, like, other people and stuff you can talk to and stuff you can examine... I'm probably not going to do, like, too much extra stuff. Um, just because there is a lot of it. And if you want to explore, like, every single corner of this game, this playthrough will be 500 hours long. <laughs> so. Uh-oh. Nick. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil, and I will cast out the rest. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Imprisoner? She's just a child. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Shh. Shut up, brain. Hmm. Your mind wants the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Um. What are my modifiers on any of these? Fucking nothing. I don't got shit. Um, uh, hmm. I don't want to do this one because it's new, but I... Mm, mm, uh. Release her, I'll see that she stays out of trouble. I, I'm so... Oh, ho, 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 that's a... That's a high check. That's a high check. Oh, come on! Okay, I, I have four inspiration. I'll use one more on that. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm not going to use all of my inspiration on this, but... Uh, that feels like a sign from the universe. Okay, God, fine. The tiefling remains until the rite is complete. Okay. Hmm. Oh, God. 
I usually pass that check. And so, <laughs> what would Emily do? I feel like I want to see what the dark urge option here is. Not like, I know what this one does. I know what this one does because I've seen it on TikTok, so I'm not picking that one. But your mind wants the snake to kill a child, but your heart doesn't snap out of it. Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus, and they're gone. But clearly this child's life is in danger. Okay, I had a feeling that's what it was. Um... Hmm. Your snake is prepared to kill this child. Do you want her death on your hands? Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sif, sif, Tila, to me. Oh, I'm so glad that worked. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Korga. Master Holsen w Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. <laughs> there are definitely options where the child dies there. Oh, hi, Shadowheart. What do you got going on? I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hmm. My memories are all gone. Is your tadpole tra playing tricks on yours? I understand why you ask, but memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. There may be other causes. Hmm. Okay, well. You know, I haven't talked to Will about the memory loss thing, I mysterious, don't think. Mysterious, that shadow heart. And mysteriously endearing. Behind those eyes lurk uncountable secrets. I've got no memory of my past. Could the parasite have done that? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber skin tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. Fair enough. All right. Let's go talk to Netty. Hello, Netty. I see you. Just give me a moment. Cool bird. Wait patiently. This may be cat. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? Healing looks like I came to the right person. I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. <laughs> Everything about me is sick. The dizzy spells, the memory loss, the illithid parasite. <laughs> Uh, that, that's a new option for, that must be for Dirge, because it mentions the memory loss. I've never seen this one before. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? Yeah, but I mean, I lost my memories, too. <laughs> what other kinds are there? It's not like a frog hopped in my eye. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Oh. 
So Nettie has this little like head accessory. Um it looks like some cute little like branches and things, and I think it gives you an advantage to um attacked us in the woods nature checks. And as far as I know, the only way to get it is to kill her or maybe pickpocket off of her. All I know is I've seen a lot of people post their screenshots from this game where the characters are wearing the little head, the little hat that Nettie wears. And I'm like, these motherfuckers killed her, didn't they? <laughs> Nettie has done nothing wrong. All right. Um... Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. So you killed him and laid him out on the table? <laughs> I only killed her once. She lunged at me and I got scared. See? See, Seven? Jay, is, Jay killed her. Fight, fight, fight. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plan? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Hmm. It might. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. I don't know. Um, uh, hmm. On a mind flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. I guess she does remember that because we saw that cutscene. But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. In case I couldn't trust you, I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Hmm. I'm not taking poison from a woman I can't trust. But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. Okay, fine, hand it over. Swear it. I swear she's lying. I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. <laughs> you know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them. Trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean, should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later. The victim transforms and a new mind flare is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. 
But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Plot. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's good news? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected. Folks like you have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. You think he's still alive? I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Hmm. You're sure he can cure me? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To I'll me. go find that beefy Spock-looking guy. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Sun. In this lighting, Emery looks like such a bitch. She's just got, like, the glowing eyes and the dark face, and she just looks angry, and she's covered in blood. <laughs> she's like... <laughs> <laughs> she looks very grumpy. Pretty boy. But I wouldn't take wyvern poison even if we do begin to turn. All righty. So we've got some intel. Guess we gotta go find Halson now. <laughs> oh yeah, Kaga wanted to talk to us. Bonjour, crazy hair. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I would have used a less polite word. Too kind. A demon, more like. Hey, tiefling, right here. <laughs> Only a monster would threaten a child. Yeah, you are... J I, this is the closest to calling your dick move, so yeah. Yes, you would say so. I know you're kind. Hey. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. Zevlor believes his people will perish on the road. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Hmm. Okay, so like Emery as a person, she'd be like, oh, God damn it. But at the same time, she's got her old Eldritch Knights thing. She would help them. So it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed and the grove forever shrouded. Oh, I don't know. I can think of a couple other ways it could end. Because there's some spicy stuff we can do. I had done it in a previous playthrough, and it was very satisfying. But I don't think I'm going to have... I'm certainly not going to have time for that today. Not on today's stream, I don't think. Oh, no, you know what? I think I may have missed something. We'll see if I can still do it. 
throw a fish next to the elevator. Like, come on, bear. Shoo. Okay, come on, squad. On the Vader. Let's go. Oh, my boys are floating. The boys, they do be floating. Pardon me, squirrel. Don't mind me. I may be too late to do this bit. Oh, no, I'm not. Aha! Excellent! Yes! Okay, cool. Bonjour, mes motherfucker! Oh, cool shot of the ground. Thank you. Quickly. With haste. Bonjour. Okay, come on, Shadowheart. Don't miss. There we go. Good girl. Oh, Will, you look so cool with that sword, my boy. Eldritch Blast. Oh, come on. You did your best, buddy. It's okay. Woo! Damastarian, let's go. Quack! Get his ass. Let's go. Hi there. You have good time. Eldridge Blast. So wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. But too bad. I earned it, fair and square. <laughs> that bugbear would have crushed your skull. This is the thanks I get. Why, thank you, dread slayer of bugbears. You shall live forever in my memory. Eh, that's a little better. Take my regards back to that pouting ironies and leave me alone. Promise I'm not working for that devil. Then our interests barely intersect. I'm sure there are other bugbears to kill. Best of luck finding them. Okay, damn. Well, whatever. To press ahead. Whatever. At least I got some EXP for that. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Okay, actually, let's see. There is some other stuff I could do here. But I think I want to prefer just like, you know, progressing the main storyline for right now. Lady of soap. Please. We'll see how far we can get. I usually I have about like 20 minutes left in my usual. Freshest fish I've ever had. Oh, they're they're bantering. I don't care for fish. Red meat. Now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Alright, Astarian, keep it in your <laughs> Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. Astarian's like, how does how do people know that I'm a vampire? Oh, I don't know, buddy boy. Maybe stop talking about dripping red meat. Ugh, so tasty. Hi, I'm Astarian. I'm totally not a vampire. What are you talking about? Anything of use? I'm totally normal. I'm a Starian. I've never done any vampirism ever in my life, I promise. Hello, skeleton. Let the 
best matches the sigil in that cave. The harpers were busy. That's curious. At the back of the crevice lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous squabbling of spiders. Ew! A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. Money. Gimme. Survey the spiders. Hello, spiders. These spiders have been infected with a deadly disease the called capitalism. <laughs> you have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Hmm. Yoink. I'm doing a secret wizard spell called Yoink. Oh, no! <laughs> no! Uh, it's not worth the inspiration. Fine. Your flesh and pain shoots up your arm and across your back. Ow! Fine. Damn, spiders. Shit. <laughs> Rude. All I tried to do was steal their shit, and they fucking bit me! Right through my fucking gloves! So fucking rude. Can't believe... Can you guys believe this shit? <laughs> Ugh. Can't believe that. It's so rude. What have I ever done to these spiders to make them bite me? All I was trying to do was steal their shit. Oh, well... Hun, what are you doing down there? Did you did you not come up with us? Did you not come up with us? Okay, I guess he was just hanging out down there. Have you wondered what people will say, Will, when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster? I've faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint, though. Shadow heart. Something's wrong. Be nice. Will is a nice boy. Asarian. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please. I think Asarian got Save stuck us. up on that ledge. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach. Until you rest. Oh, okay. What happened to your friend? An oil bear. Please, do you have any- Shut up, Andrik. Do you serve the absolute? Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. <laughs> Try to block him out. He's like, no, Jesus. stand on my brain. Your minds intertwine. Ew. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Rip. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. True soul? What are you talking about? Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice. Your words are her command. She grants you the power to enforce her will. And when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. Please. Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. What? What are you doing? Your sword brother, now! Well, sorry, y'all. Guess we're gonna have to kill these guys.
Yeah, freaking Astarian. Where are you? Where is my... Why are you over there? Get over here. We are in a fight, sir. And where were you? <laughs> you should search that corpse. Oh. A normal thing to hear in my brain. Back in favor is the fearless. Eldritch Blast. Fleet of foot. Acid, Jesus. Acid. All right. Give me your shit, I guess. I did teach you to say that exact same thing in Spanish. I don't remember. Wait, which thing? Which thing? Power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Most corpses feel like toys before you, to be played with and discarded when you tire. Okay, that's a... Mm, mm. This body seems different. A friend calls out from the corpse, desperate to be freed. Why let ah. its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Uh, the tadpole is trying to influence you. Resist. Gross. Fucking no. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. Not for now. Kick his ass, loot his corpse thing. <laughs> I don't- that was so long ago. I don't remember. I don't remember. Don't quiz me live on stream. I'm baby. Oh, so here's a fun fact. Um, we can use salamis uh, as weapons in this game. <laughs> I, uh, I actually did watch a video of someone who um, did an entire run of this game using only salamis as weapons. Salamis only run. Oh, do I not get the parasite from that? I guess not. Moving ahead. Well, fuck it. I didn't want it anyway. That'll have to do. Alrighty. We will eventually have to take a long rest, but I'm gonna see how far I can get. This village should be near here. As much love as I hold for Baldur's Gate, these frontiers delight me as much as any bustling street. Uh, you can't be serious. This is a howling wasteland. I haven't even had a bath since the abduction. <sighs> I must reek of a lithid slime. <sighs> sure, but think of the stories you'll be able to tell. The prissy boy and the hiking enthusiast. I love them. There is, like, quite a contingency of people who actually ship Astarian and Will. And it is pretty good. I am, a uh, I, I enjoy Bloodweave myself, which is, uh, Astarian and Gale. I think that one's pretty cute. Um, but, you know, I could see it. I could see it. Astarian definitely has a lot of lines that Hinty's got. Like, if not a crush, like, some sort of admiration for Will, it's very funny. It's very cute. gonna just loot this shit real quick yeah so i'll probably off stream go through and like go and sell all my shit get some new armor drip out the squad etc but that's a little bit boring to watch so i think i'll probably leave it for later okay. keep the stream just to the uh interesting stuff you know oh hey guys 
Sup? Thought you was busy with the lads in Elson's Grove. Hmm. I have somewhere else to be. You and me both. Gonna find the wizard who gave us the contract that got my people killed. Left out all the important bits, like beware, treasures beneath a pile of goblins. Um. Hmm. Looks like you were ill prepared. I don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic buried in the arse end of nowhere. And from a wizard, too. Should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Boulder's Gate. Stupid thing to die for. You're giving it up? Might take a shot at it myself. Have at it. If you think you can do better. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you a map of the temple and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own sodger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. Can show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. I hear the druid's leader went with you. As soon as he heard we had a contract to find that night song relic, he was more eager than a hound in heat. When the goblins jumped us, most of my crew scarpered, just like I taught them to. The old codger didn't. And you just left him to die? Yeah, and I'd do the same again. It weren't my responsibility. If you want to play the hero, go ask the goblins nicely. And maybe they'll give you whatever's left of him. Come on. We're wasting time. All right, yeah, get out of here so I can loot your friends. See ya. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing, gamers. Here's the thing, gamers. Question for any folks who have played this game. So, typically, items in this game, if you didn't already know, um, the stuff that's in orange means that it's plot relevant, means that it's relevant to some kind of quest somewhere. I have not figured out what the goblin drawing is for. Like, like, what is the significance of this here? Is there, like, a, a child goblin you have to talk to? I'm just like, I don't know what that's for. But I've seen other people talk about it. It's like, I have no idea what the goblin drawing is for. Like, what quest that relates to. It supposedly does. So who knows? All right. I think sometimes they're just plot foreshadowing or hints. It tells you about the three head honchos so you can know about them ahead of time. It marks their camp if you don't have it. Okay, interesting. Weird that you could get here. Goblins. I can smell trouble ahead. Without knowing where the goblin stuff is. Like, you can get here without going to the grove. See, that's the interesting thing about this game, though, that I love. Is that you can truly do whatever the fuck you want and do shit completely out of order, and the game will still compensate for it. It's really interesting. Um, and so, the thing is, like... He was so gentle. That's not how I was taught Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadowheart. Oh. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson, after all. It's the DM keeping the plot in line. I, bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Oh. I've never gotten that banter before. That's cute. Oh. Oh, God. Will is so good. And Shadowheart is just a tragic goth girl. Oh, my God. Hi, baby boy, Scratch. Oh. Pet the pupper. No harm. Oh. 
Oh, no! No! I need to befriend this dog! There we fucking go! The dog lowers his hackles. His head... Bubber! ...positively. Bubber! ...that you're harmless, he turns his attention back to the corpse. Shake your head. With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. No. Motion him to follow. Come the on, Bubber. looks at his owner with sad eyes. He does not move. Bubber, <laughs> scratch. Hold out your hand so he can follow your scent to camp. The dog sniffs your hand, his tail swung low in understanding. He knows how to find you. Good pupper. Oh, sweet doggo. Sweet doggo. Ho -ho. Okay, I think I just figured out what I want to accomplish this stream. There's something in the goblin village that I want to get. A sweetheart, perhaps? Oh, they're bantering. Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. Interesting word choice, weirdo. Back, then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. There's something in this village I want to get, and I think get that we dog. get it, we take a long rest, and we'll call it for the day. Hmm. I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. No fun in skewing a pig what doesn't know he's cooked. Hmm. Curious, I hopped on with the exact same thought when I saw you. That's supposed to be a threat. Got a set on you, all right. Almost makes me like you. Almost. I'm gonna enjoy pulling off your skin when we're done. Yep. Well, it's fine. This way. Combat. But yeah, so the fun part about this game is that you really can do whatever the fuck you want. And so here's a little story for you guys. Um, I love games where you can go about things differently and it changes what happens in the game. Um, and I can give you an example. In Breath of the Wild, um, so if you play the game normally, you know, like, you kind of go along with the plot as it wants you to, um, as, you usually don't get the Master Sword until after you have done most, if not all, of the main plot, right? Well, um... In Breath of the Wild, if you, you can actually, um, okay, I'm, it's hard to talk <laughs> and play this game at the same time, but there is, after every uh, one of the major storyline, like, bits in the game, um, are there any Gerbos up here? There are, okay. Gerbos. Oh, she didn't, that didn't kill her? Come on. Come on. Oh, great. There's these fuckers up here, too. Okay, that's fine. On I go. That's fine. But yeah, so anyway, in Breath of the Wild, usually what will happen is once you finish a section of the plot, um, people will be like, hey, thanks for saving us, hero. But hey, if you're supposed to be that legendary hero, where's your super cool sword? And I read that, and I thought it was interesting. Excellent. And so what I did is I did a playthrough where I went through and I got all of the, uh, the shrine. Well, not all of the shrines. I got enough shrines that I got the Master Sword before I did any of the actual plot in the game. And as a result, once you do that, so like I got the Master Sword before I did any of the plot. And it changes the dialogue. 
Like, if you go through and you already have the Master Sword, the game will be like, oh, hey, you must be that legendary hero because you've got the super special cool sword. And it's, it's so neat. And so there's also... Um, so in Breath of the Wild, the scene where you meet Sidon and he's like on the road and you meet him and it's like a whole thing. And he like kind of travels with you for just a little bit. Come the fuck on. Let me shoot you with an Eldritch Blast. I'm going to shoot somebody with an Eldritch Blast. God damn it. Let's go. Don't waste a step. Somebody's going to get hit with an arrow. Some fucking way. Okay, fine. God. So I can go around corners. Magic missile. Magic missile. Oh, well, then that's a waste of a spell because I can... Mm. No, I didn't fucking think so. Ah, fine. I will just give myself a little bit of heals. Oh, that was pathetic. Girl. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, Shadowheart. Oh, oh, dear. This is fine. This is fine. It's fine. Actually, you're only one HP from death. Oh, come on. Okay, well. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Ugh. Anyway, so uh, there's the scene in Breath of the Wild where you find Sidon kind of just on the road and then you spend a good portion of the next part just like, you know, kind of following through the wilds, as it were. Um, you get to meet him. You get to, like, talk to him a little bit. You interface with the guy a little bit. And it's fun. You know, you get to know Sidon. But actually... You can come at the- oh, I forgot you were still there. Okay, well, Shadowheart's dead now. It's fine. It's fine. Um... It's fucking Gerblin in the fucking thing. Yeah, we'll go save her. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Can you jump that high? You can! Good going, baby girl. Let's go. Fall by my hand. Fuck you. My faith will protect me. Hey, feeling word on yourself. But yeah, so anyway, you can actually skip that entire interaction with Sidon if you come across the uh you can kind of like uh you can glide into the uh into the Zora's domain, kind of from the back way, and then you never interact with Sidon, like, at all. Um, and you get an entirely different cutscene, um, because of it. And it's very interesting, and I've only done it once, because it made me sad, because then I didn't get to hang out with Sidon so much. A great uncle's name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. <laughs> I'm getting so much banter that I've never seen before. You oh. where you ain't ought to be, friend. Hello. Might have to take that nose. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stares in response. <laughs> what? The guard let me pass. <laughs> Or you could let me pass and live to see nightfall. Yes, give me my thaumaturgy. That's what I used. Let's go. Fair enough. All right, so there is one thing I want to get, but we are very low on everything, so I don't want to go and fight a bunch of a bunch of ogres right now. So I think it is go time to go ahead and do a long rest. Yes. The stream is banterful then. Yes. I'm so glad I found Whoa. Wait. Hi. I'm Althira. A bard from the grove. I don't mean any harm. Um is something wrong or the tieflings all right? Oh, yes. Everything is fine. 
Thanks to you. That's why I'm here. When I'd heard what you'd done, it inspired me. I forgot to talk to her in the grove. That was another thing. I to join you. To fight by your side. Oh, okay. In interesting. People, as you've helped us. Um, it's safer for you at the grove. True. But I'm a bard, remember? I want to do more than sing about other people's adventures. I want to make my own stories. And I can't think of anyone else I'd rather share that with. I saw this cosplay over the weekend. Yeah, I saw... Uh, I didn't get to see it up close because she walked by on the other side of the aisle, which always breaks my heart. But I did see a very good Alfira cosplayer at uh, Anime Week in Atlanta. There was also a really good Volo, and they never came by my booth. And I was so... I, like, saw them from a distance, but I had to run back to my table. And I didn't get to see their outfit up close. And I, I was waiting to gush over them, but they never came by my table. And it was so sad. Ugh. You can stay for now. Let's see how you fare. Really? Oh, this is wonderful. Hmm. Just keep it quiet here. I won't let you down. I promise. She's so cute. And she's purple. She's purple. A discussion. I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Neverwinter? Oh, can we go to Waterdeep? <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's take it one note at a time, as my teacher would say. This is actually the hairstyle I used for Emery in my first run. It was okay, but it wasn't perfect. It wasn't the best. Hi, Withers. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. What kind of services can a skeleton offer? A mending of the threads between life and death. Hmm. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Yeah, so uh, Withers can revive fallen party members if they're plot relevant. But not for any random, uh, like, NPCs. No, if, if some child's parents die, he's not going to do shit for them. But you and your companions now, you guys are important. <laughs> hmm. Helpful. No one's dead on my side at the moment, though. Indeed. Farewell. Okay. He's like, conversation over. Get out of here. All right, let's talk to everybody. Let's see how the gang is faring. Hi, Gail. Beneath her forbidding countenance, I sense this cleric will prove quite the companion. A wise decision to let her join us. Hmm. Okay. Will, what do you have to say? The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Hmm. I noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends. He's a stupid little half top. Yeah, he's just got a little crop top. It's fine. Listen, Gail's the one wearing assless chaps with his Jimmy Jams. <laughs> Who has the more offensive pajamas here? I mean, really. By all means. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they are called chosses and they are <laughs> stupid. Yes, I agree. Appropriate, mm, debatable, assless chaps, assless jammies. <laughs> Mark my word, the half elf's an abyss of lies and secrets. Shadow heart. Yeah, call me your Chalice's J. Damn. You got like a wedgie or something? Is that why you're so upset? Maybe you should uh, straighten your assless chaps. Maybe if they're uh, sliding up places where they shouldn't be. <laughs> hmm. Okay. A stallion, what do you Shadow have to say for yourself? Heart. 
Shadow Heart. Hmm. I'm sure her parents meant well, but the name's a little ominous, isn't it? Unless she chose it herself. Which is even more worrying, honestly. <laughs> He's just so sassy. He's just so sassy. He's a sassy boy. He's sassy. And then Shadow Heart Something with the matter. deep V. All right. There's all like conversations I've seen before. They just, oh, didn't mean to do that. Wait. Fuck this tree. Hey, Shadow Heart. Hey, Shadow Heart. Do you want, do you want this tree? Shadow Heart, I got this tree for you. Shadow Heart, do you want this tree? Oh, yes. I get, Shadow Heart, do you want this tree? I got you a tree. Do you like it? Do you like it, Shadow Heart? Do you like this tree? I got it for you. <laughs> I got it for you. I'm like a dog fetching a stick. <laughs> I got that bitch's dick. Bitches love sticks. <laughs> I got you blue. I got you yellow. Bitches love yellow. All right, go to bed. Auto select. Why? Do, sometimes the auto select just does not fucking work. It's like there's got to be a way to math this out, right? Why is everything three? Split item. Watadavian cheese wedge. I'll take that cheese. I will take that cheese. Uh oh. Hello? Um. Are you are you tea posing for dominance? What what the fuck happened here? Hello? Why posing for dominance? Um well. Um, uh-oh. Skip. Oh, okay, there we go. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. Hello? <gasps> no! Body, which is in a oh my god, but holy shit, no! The body of that brave girl who earnestly swore to devote Oh, her Jesus to Christ! You. Her blood covers you. And its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, try hard to remember something, anything. What the fuck? A Not the baby! Comes to you, the flash of abject terror in her eyes, blood spilling from her lips. No time for last words. Oh, good. Oh, good God. Okay. Uh, investigate your surroundings looking for an explanation. What the fuck happened? No, okay. Well, mm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use an inspiration on that because that was pathetic. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the court. Oh, yeah, just the zoom in on that viscera. God. Even when she was long gone. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. No matter how it appears, the body is there and her blood is on your hands. Baby girl, no. The mind. Who are you really? That you could be guilty of such bitter business. Jeez, Zois. Uh, connect to your parasite. Is it responsible? The little worm seems silent. Your companions sleep blissfully tonight. If it were the rage of a tadpole, no others seem to be affected. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. Uh, um. Try to hide the body. Disadvantage on stealth because I'm wearing scale veil. Oh no. Well, I'm going to try anyway. Oh no. Oh! No! Oh no! I'm gonna try that again. Oh no! I'm gonna. Oh god, I feel like I should say. 
here. No! Oh no, what the fuck? Shit. Oh no, I'm gonna wake up the entire. Oh no, God! Oh God! Oh gross! Oh no! He's gonna go back to sleep. Her body's still right there. What do you do? You are covered in blood, and you're just leaving the body. Oh my God, girl! He's gonna have a little nap. You're just gonna have a little fucking nap, aren't you? Oh my fucking god. Another waif dead before her time. I wonder how it happened. Hides hands behind back. The killer knifed her many times after she was dead. Was it you? No, I'm just covered in blood. I don't know what happened. I woke up and she was dead. This blood didn't get there on its own. Her neck didn't snap by any accident. The parasite must be affecting you deeply. The worm in your head has never slept more peacefully. You know in your heart it was something deep. Doggo! <laughs> Listen, I know we're having a terrible moment, but there's a dog over there! Uh... Doggo! Yes, very poor- oh! Mm. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh. uh, uh, uh mm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna shut up. Even if it was the worm, this was peculiar indeed. I'll be watching. An uneasy feeling lingers in the air. I'm just still covered in fucking blood. Starts. You are left alone. With a familiar headache. Okay. Mourn, you truly wish to journey beside Alfira. Vow, you will gain control. You will save the next innocent. Breathe deeply. You must uncover the cause of your mad spree, lest it happen again. The only joy greater than murder is to get away with it. Grind your jaw. That was close. You will hide your crime more carefully next time. I'm going to go with this one, because this feels closest Much to how she would react. Uncertain, but you know one thing for sure. The darkness will strike again, unless you find a light. Hey. Okay. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, well. These are mine now. Sorry, girl. Ugh. Just so you know. I don't judge you for what happened to that bard, Elfira. But the look of guilt on your face was priceless. Oh, yeah, she's not a fan of him. Didn't do it, something strange is happening to me. I don't care, really. But you could have been more subtle about it. Oh, little bitch. Ugh. Yeah, just, you know, skip right over to small talk. I was no friend to Alfira, but there was no sense in killing her. I'll be watching everyone in this camp like a hawk. Ugh. Especially you. I didn't kill Alfira. Well, that's not true. No oh, that's not what warrior. I meant to pick. Scratch! You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You spot a name on the dog's collar. Scratch. Pet this dog with my blood-covered hands. Hello, doggo. You're such a sweet boy. You didn't see any of that, did you? <laughs> yeah, getting away with murder. Ah! 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 Hi, Will. Alfira wouldn't have harmed a housefly. A gentle young soul slain in her prime. Hmm. Okay, well, he's got nothing else to say to me, I guess. Hmm. Go on, then. State your business with me from a safe distance. If it's all the same to you. Mm-mm. 
I swear what happened to Alfira wasn't my fault. I'm sure that will be of small comfort to her. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You have Bard all over your hands. Go watch it off. Shadowheart, did you did you see the stick I got for you, Shadowheart? I thought this camp was supposed to be our safe haven. Not quite so when we wake up to dead tiefling bards. I may have difficulty sleeping for a while. What happened to Alfira, I wasn't responsible. So, you're not in full control of your faculties? If you think it might happen again, warn me. I would hate to have to kill you. Uh, everybody hates me now. Oh no, we're just gonna leave her there. We're just gonna leave her there, Scratch, no. Don't stand over the dead body, Scratch. Oh no. Oh, well, okay. I think we've gone over our usual time. <sighs> Bard on your face, big disgrace, kick. <laughs> okay, well, we have gone past our usual time. So I think it is probably about time to call it a night. But we will be resuming this playthrough for more dirge shenanigans probably next week. Um, we shall heck and see. Uh, okay, so yeah, no stream on Wednesday because I'm going to be busy with Thanksgiving stuff. But we, if you guys want to see more of the worst girl in the world here, uh, we will have an, our next session of our D&D show, What's Left of Us, that Emery is in and I play her in the game. This coming Friday, it's episode 23, I think. Uh, if you don't have time to get all caught up, we do have a story recap on the website, which is what's left of us dot card or yeah, what's left of us dot card dot co. Um, and you can get links to all of those in the links. Uh, I think actually the stream is going to redirect to the waiting room for that stream. Um, <laughs> and she likely won't wake up to dead party members. Likely. Shut up, Jay. Shut up, Jay. Do not take inspiration from this. <laughs> but yes, so we will be having our next sesh of What's Left of Us this coming Friday. Um, and if you want to watch more of the show, the link to the playlist is in the pinned comment at the top of the chat. Uh, Y'all should totally go watch that. It's very fun. Uh, we have quite a bit of fun adventuring romps with it. And we only play once a month, so you have plenty of time to get caught up if you can't make it to this next one but um very emotional uh very fun if you like um seeing me be just an asshole tiefling uh who's not who's very emotionally constipated and is constantly forced to confront her inner and external demons uh along with the rest of the party who is also facing their own problems and it's a joy to watch uh you should check out what's left of us our D, &D show that you can watch over on jay's channel but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. There's blood on my hands, and I need to go make dinner. <laughs> but yes, I will see you guys next time. Fare thee well, friends. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye!